What's going on everybody? It's Brian and today I'll be showing you the iOS 5.0 setup process on an iPad 2. Now it was freshly restored to iOS 5.0 beta 1 from iOS 4.3.3. So slide to unlock. Here is the setup screen. A lot of you have probably seen this already if you've seen the keynote or other videos but here it is. It says slide to setup. And the first thing it's going to ask you is to choose your language. There are a bunch of different languages to choose from. So English is my preferred language. So there's a little arrow in the upper right, and then you could choose your region or country, a whole bunch of those as well. But I'm gonna choose the United States because that's where I'm at. Now here is where you could choose your Wi-Fi network. Um, is there an option to skip this just now, or for now? I don't see it, so I'm gonna go ahead and enter my Wi-Fi password really quick. But before I do that, you can see that the split keyboard sort of works. Here it is. I'm actually going to try and test entering my password with this keyboard. And I have to say that from my five seconds of using the split keyboard, it's actually very nice and it works very, very well. So that's really cool. I like the whole split keyboard idea. It's really, it's actually quite perfect for thumb typing on an iPad. So that's really cool. Very nice feature that Apple decided to add to the uh, to iOS 5. So I guess it's pretty much finished. So oh wait, we have to choose how we want it to set up. So we could have it uh, restore from an iCloud backup, an iTunes backup, or we could set it up as a new iPad, which is what I always do. Then here we could choose to enter our Apple ID. I will go ahead and do that really quick. Once again, the uh, split keyboard stays. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my. Uh, iTunes store or Apple ID info. The uh, split keyboard definitely takes a little bit to get used to, but it's actually quite nice once you know which keys are actually on which side of the keyboard. So, waiting for it to uh, go through my thing there. So, set up iCloud. Um, for now, I'm just going to switch this off. And you can see that iOS 5 features new little sliders. So that's sort of a cool little touch. Finally changing up some UI stuff. So I'm going to leave that off and go to next. Uh, I do not want it to send my diagnostic information and that is it. So start using iPad and here we are at the home screen. Now I will be doing lots of other iOS 5 videos. I'm going to show you some stuff on the iPhone 4 as well, but that was just a quick That was just a quick little look at the iOS 5 setup process on an iPad 2. So that is about it. So before I get into a whole bunch of other stuff, I'm just going to end this video. So that's it with the video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can leave it down below in the comments area. But that's about it. So thanks a lot for watching this video, and I'll talk to you.